There is a power inside all of us, which we can call mind, and that makes up our whole world. Not only the forms that we see, but also the opinion and the judgments about the forms. It's not really there, it's just in your mind. Forms loom up and then you start to believe it and you want the forms or you want to uh, get it uh, away from it. But there's always the mind that bothers you. Well, when you only enjoy the forms that appear, like the nature or the flowers or friends or whatever, but don't judge it, that's a mind on mind, because all is in the mind appearing, the nature, everything. So take only the one thing of it and enjoy it. We all know the stories of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. The adventures <laughs> and it's nice to see it but they don't exist they only are looming up in the mind of Walt Disney and we can enjoy it and likewise we are not existing all forms that you see all possible forms are just images looming up and disappearing it's not real the one that sees it is a sort of power it's an unspeakable power without the form itself it has the might and the potency to make forms appear and seem there but they are not you are not there you are that power empty and it's so funny and <clears throat> remarkable and strange that it dooms up, it, it, it's looming up every morning again and again. But the only thing we know is, is unreal. There is nothing but... Um, forms and they have no value because they don't exist but we give them value because then we ourselves have value and we don't want to lose that we want to be there even it hurts horrible we still want to be in that form which doesn't exist because when it doesn't exist that means that you have no parents there is no god the children that you have are not existing. Who, who wants that? No, it's a, no, no, no. Oh, let it be there, let it be there. But finally, when you really leave that form that you think you are in, you only think that. When you really leave that form, huh? Oh, I didn't know. Wow, what a peaceful state. Oh, what beauty to be here you have forgotten all your children of all your lives because you had several forms human forms and all children that you left them and all the parents you had you left them and all the bodies that you had you left them because they were not real and the same thing is now accounting it it's there the the reality you are not real. You are always asleep. In the night you fall asleep, you are tired, and then uh, you dream. And in the morning you wake up, but the dream goes on. It is the continuous dream state that you are in. The only reality that is true is the deep, dreamless sleep. And that, we don't know that. Why don't we know it? Because we are not in it. We are not there. And we assume we are here when we fall asleep and we stand up and say, oh, I want my coffee. There is no coffee. There is no daytime. There is nothing but the 
power of imagination, like Mickey Mouse. You can see him running and uh, having fun and, and bringing flowers to Minnie Mouse because he loves her. And all that stories, it's nice. Children love it and even adults, but it is not there. They don't exist. <sighs> don't think that you exist and Mickey Mouse does not. You don't neither. You don't exist. <sighs> That's the blessing. Blessing knowing of, of all that it was only a story. It's everything that appears is looming up from, from a placeless place. And it's just there for a, a split second. But we make stories, we want to be there. We cannot stand it not to exist. Even when we are sick, we go to the doctors and have all tubes in our bodies. And because we want to prolong our life, which is not even there, the doctors are not there, the sickness is not there. There is nothing, it is all the power of the, the dormant power of the the force which has no form itself it's um, a potency it is possible that force that you are has the possibility to make forms and once in a while there are forms that appear and immediately jump in it and make it real but you cannot make real what is not existing <laughs> and then there is no more longing for peace or happiness because you the happiness that you are is already finished in it is there and from it it came there came the opposite because we did not recognize the happiness that is. And when the opposite of happiness is there, only then we long for the happiness. And then we start slowly to understand it was just a story. It's now a story. This here now is a story. <laughs> you enjoy it. Okay, why not? Enjoy the story of your life, but be convinced that it is definitely not existing the words of Sai Baba this world is definitely not existing it is phantom it is fleeting it is transforming it is just a, a play in the mind of the God that you are the happiness that you are makes it up and it can do it forever or it can stop making up stories when you reach that happiness of yourself why do you need stories about happiness <laughs> welcome home you have never left yourself you have never left happiness it was only a thought and even thoughts don't exist don't believe them, they lie. Don't believe lies. You are happy and you always were happy. Uh, immortal. You never lived so you cannot die. <coughs> That's what your immortality is. <coughs> Be free. Eternally free. You see? There is nothing, no thing, there is no thing, it's all mind, even now, this year, he's talking, it's, it's looming up from that <laughs> unspeakable mighty power, which is dormant and it has the possibility to make 
all things appear as they seem to be, but they are not there. You are not there. This world is not there. No thing, nothing and no thing is there. It's not real. Don't believe it. Stay in your blissful peace of self. When it has no form, it doesn't lose anything. It wins. It wins the bliss of self-awareness. That's what you are. Aware of happiness and bliss. <laughs> happy, happy, happy. Why do we enjoy this illusion so much? We don't know any other than illusion. And an illusion, which we think is this life we, we live, everything is possible. And we think that we can do things to make it good and to our uh, preferences. But <laughs> as it is called illusion, it's not real. A proof in the deep dreamless sleep at night, it's not there. And there's the real joy, the bliss of yourself without all that mind play, the dream. This day, this here is a dream. Don't believe it. Wake up and stay in yourself. 